This Saturday, and we thought we would step back because we've basically been doing a huge loving gush fest about dinosaurs for 36 straight days. We're going to flip the script uh, and we're going to roast them. We're going to drag some of the subjectively derpiest, ugliest, weirdest looking dinos. Uh, I should mention at the top, I love all God's creatures, especially dinosaurs. And this is all very subjective. Um, but let's roast them. Why not? It's going to be fun. That's the whole point of a roast. You roast out of love. You roast out of love. So uh, like every single day, though, we start Dino 101 with our bingo board. Shouts to Grace for making this. If you get five in a row in any direction, diagonal, horizontal, vertical, send a message to Grace and she will tell you what you have won the right to do. Uh, all questions and comments as we go can go to Grace and to Christina. Um, yo, let's dive into this. So this is our Dino 101 bingo of the day. We also have a dinosaur of the day, but before we hit that, I just wanna show my absolute favorite highlight from last night because I know you guys are great paleo artists but for the dinosaur uh, mating version, this was by far the, my favorite image that came out of here. Uh, thank you to Carol Loftilis. Carol, I don't know if Carol's in here right now. If Carol's here, Grace or Christina, can you see Carol in the chat? Uh, we should throw her a huge high five because I cannot stop thinking about this. Paint me like one of your French Velociraptor renderings. All right, so that was last night, but today because we're roasting dinosaurs, we, and we roast out of love, it seemed only appropriate that our dino of the day today had very, very what, Christina? What, what, do we, what do we call that? Prominent neck meat. Prominent neck meat. Look at this neck meat. Isosaurus. This is our dino of the day. This is Isosaurus. It's got some very good neck meat right there. You can see the little man in blue for scale. This is your dino of the day. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but here we go. Uh, so at the end, we're going to look at your paleo art renderings of these. Uh, but we're going to do a roast. And we don't have a special guest of the day, so I'm going to have to use Christina and Grace to help me find someone to play dino or not a dino. I'm not sure who we should have played today. I'm wondering... The people out there. Ooh, we. I, I see my mom is here. What if she my is? Mom played? That's that's who I'm looking for. Should should we have my mom play? Yeah. All right. Uh, I also like that she has. I'm, mom, I'm going to spotlight you. Um, this was brought up, I believe, yesterday. You used to be Sharon, and then you were Mom, and now you're Afcam, which is the artist formerly known as Mom. It's pronounced Af. Oh, sorry, it off was given to me by your sister in her senior year of high school when okay. we were having an argument and she was sarcastic and ended with the tone na 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 mom and I said don't call me that she said okay offcom offcom boom you're like you're it's like Prince but somehow I'm nothing like Prince. I do like your purple, uh, your purple sweater. Well, uh, Jared, you love like, purple, so like a team. little bit like Prince. This is actually aubergine. Oh, All right. of course. Okay. <laughs> um, Dino sex was last night. We don't have to talk about eggplants right now. Are you ready to play? That's French. Aubergine is French <laughs> eggplant. Are yeah, you ready to play? You were 100% Dino? right. That was a very good joke. You like that? You like that? Yeah. I think jokes are always funnier when you have to explain them immediately afterwards. <laughs> uh, you, missed, all right. you also missed Isosaurus. E-Y-E-S-O-S-O-R-E. -E for, for the dino of the day? Eyes. Eyes. No, I, I get it. I get, we'll, we'll come back to that. Stop stalling. It's time to play dino or not a dino. Mom, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. <laughs> wow, your enthusiasm is out, off the I, charts right now. Here's how this game works. I'm going to read you a list of 10 different dinosaurs, some mm -hmm. of which are actual real dinosaurs, some of which are animal names I have totally made up. Okay. Your job is simply to be uh, to identify if it is a dino or not a dino. You can ask for a spelling at any point if that seems like it might be helpful. You can look around the Zoom room. Again, we have some very smart Dino 101 corn team members who are going to give you thumbs up or thumbs down, which is helpful maybe two thirds of the time. I don't even know. Mom, are you ready to play dino or not a dino? Ready. Let's dig in. Animal number one, Fabrosaurus. Fabrosaurus. No. She's shaking her head, no. looking around. 
Do you have I'm a not using the room. Okay, look around the room. I'm not. <laughs> oh, you're not looking around the room. Too easily overstimulated. Okay, same, same. Fabrosaurus, dino or not a dino? No. No, Fabrosaurus is actually a dinosaur. That is one incorrect. I'm sorry, okay. mom. All right, I'll use the room. <laughs> it's okay. All right, that was number one. Uh, number two. Help me, guys. Suavornis. No. Suavornis. Suavornis? Suavornis. You mean like a slick bird? No. Oh, that is a really cool name, but it is not a dinosaur. You're correct. Suavornis is not a dinosaur. Also, mom, remember there's a theme for the not dinos. And if you can figure that out, uh, you get to remain my mother. Number wow. three, Ferganosaurus. Can you spell that? F-E-R-G-A-N-A-saurus. Ferganosaurus. What do you say, guys? Yeah, no. Not a yeah, dino. Yeah, no. I, I know in the Midwest we say yeah, no a lot, but that is both a positive and a negative. Are you going Not down? a dino. Not a dino. Mom, that is incorrect. Forganosaurus is a dinosaur. You're one for two. Don't worry. There's plenty of time to come back. Number four. A Venopteryx. A vino, wait, a venopteryx, yes. A venopteryx, a venopteryx. No. No, quick no. All right, you're right. That is not a dinosaur. You're now 50%. Okay, yeah. Yeah. You're right, two wrong. Next, ingenia. I-N-G-E-N-I-A, ingenia. I-N-G-E-N-I-A. Ingenia. This isn't coming out of your medicine cabinet, is it? Uh, no. No, ingenia. In, just ingenia? Yo, I feel yeah, like I go with, Martin, it's so weird. when in doubt and you go to the Zoom room, I would go with Martin. Martin seems to get these right almost every single time. What is your final answer for ingenia? Where's Martin? Okay, what's Martin thinking? Martin's going two thumbs up. All right, I guess he's not on this part of the screen. All right, I'll do it. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, it is the dinosaur. That is correct. You're back in the black, three and two. What kind of dinosaur is that? I forget. Someone look up Ingenia. Listen, I had a recovery time of putting this all together and literally- No excuses. Move on. All right. Next. <laughs> Garnier Venator. Garnier Venator. No. No, that is not a dinosaur. You're now four and two. Next. Ooh, code Tokia. Ukotokia. O O H. Tokia. Spell it. O O H K O T O K I A. Ukoto. I can't. Ukotokia. Yeah. Yes, that is a dinosaur. It's actually a uh, Blackfoot Native American word, which I forget what it means. Okay. Uh, you are now gotten five right, two wrong. You only need one more to get six out of 10. D minus. Just like in school, mom, when I would come home with a D minus and you'd be like, you know what? That's good enough. That was never true though. That was never true. I don't think I no, ever. Please. Did I ever get a D ever? I don't know. I think it may be in middle school because you wanted to see what it felt like. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I ever got a D. Anyway, uh, all right, so you are five and two, which is, do the math, that is seven. You got three more. All you gotta do is get one of them. Next, Pantinicus. Pantinicus. P-A-N-T-E-N-Y-C-H-U-S, Pantinicus. No, no. No, Pantinicus is not a dinosaur. You've now gotten six right. You got two right. Two you washed your hair this morning? Keep going, keep going. Yeah. No. Siats. S I A T S. Siats. S I A T S. Siats. We've got yeah. an enthusiastic yeah. thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> Martin's screen is shaking with two because thumbs up. I know. Yes, yes. Because yes. no. it's not a beauty product or a shampoo, so it must be a dino. You're right, Siats is a dinosaur. And what do you think the theme for the not dinos is? Oh, uh, you want to tell? I had Suavornis, I had Avinoopter. Yeah, baby. Yeah, Garnier Venator and Pantinicus. Last but not least, let's see if you can nail this one. Uh, 
pro Neutrogena Ceratops. <laughs> Definitely not. No, that is not a dinosaur. Mom, after a tough start, you finish eight out of 10, which is a B minus. Listen, I'm proud of you. I think you could try, probably study a little bit harder next time, bump that up to an A. But for now, you're doing okay. I have high expectations. You did pretty well. I'm proud of you. Can I watch TV now? You can go watch TV now. Thank you. Mom, you crushed it. You got eight out of 10. Uh, and she's like, screw it, I'm out. Are you serious? You're out now? That's it? I have to make lunch for the yard workers. Are you speaking about my dad who just walks around the backyard picking up stuff? No, sticks? I'm speaking about you and Max who are going to come over in two hours and edge all the beds. Yay! Wow. All right. Uh, cut her mic. Boot her out of the room. No, I'm kidding. Love you, Mom. All right. We'll talk soon. Uh, thanks, Mom. Uh, and thank you for making me. Anyway, you guys, that was great. She did 8 out of 10. Uh, she was obvious. Uh, obviously did really well identifying those not dinos as shampoo brands. Uh, and shampoo is a beauty product, which I picked today because that is the opposite, basically, of what we are talking about today. Because we are talking about what we have deemed, again, subjectively, as the derpiest, ugliest, weirdest, just what looking dinosaurs ever. And I have a lot of help. I have M to help me out. I got Megan, Jada, Michael, Kelly, and Christina are all going to tell us their favorite, well, or maybe least favorite, depending on the way they couch it, dinos. And I thought. So M had a suggestion to get us started today, which makes sense because we wouldn't have any dinos or we wouldn't call them dinosaurs if it weren't for the dude who started Dinosauria way back in 1842. We've heard of him. You may not love him, but his name is Sir Richard Owen. And in 1842, he coined the term Dinosauria using Megalosaurus, Iguanodon, and Hylaeosaurus as the three genera or groups of dinosaurs to put together to make well, the first group of dinosaurs coining the term. He was a pretty uh, controversial dude. A couple of quotes I'd like to read about him. He was called a deceitful and odious man. And quote, no one fact tells so strongly against Owen as that he has never once reared a pupil or follower. So uh, to get that dragging started, we're going with Richard Owen. M, why did you want us, why did you want us to feature Richard Owen to start? Let, I'll let you take it over from here. I think you phrased it very well by quoting those ye old roasts. Um, I just want to start off saying, I hope this man is getting enough sleep. Just looking at him makes me tired. Yeah. He looks like he's had too much coffee and his forehead can only be described as majestically large. <laughs> you want to go to the next another, slide? You can put a whole other face on it. You can have two faces there. <laughs> All right. So, this man has an entire section on his Wikipedia page called Conflicts with His Peers, which says a lot. Uh, he basically ignored a lot of paleontologist research to make, next slide, this bad art. It's so bad. <laughs> he was actually kicked out of the Royal Society of Zoological Council, which is basically Fancy Lad Science Club, for plagiarism, which is a bad look, mostly because of the plagiarism he did on these beautiful renderings of Iguanodon. Next slide. <laughs> and unlike this alligator skull that he's posing with here, I don't think this man had any teeth. Can we also talk about how he chose to pose this as if that animal is just about to bite his junk off? Like, you choose how you're taking the picture, right? He's just like, oh, yeah, right here. Yeah. Very weird. Yeah, so this is Sir Richard Owen. Uh, obviously, we had to roast him. Thank you, Em. I didn't think of this, but you're right. Of all the paleontologists, he is the most deserving of roasting. But you were like, I can't just stop here. I have an actual dinosaur I'd like to roast. So moving on, uh, tell us about our next friend here. Oh, with pleasure. This is Nigersaurus. Mm -hmm. Unlike Richard Owen, it has many teeth. Next slide. Many teeth. Many teeth. Those are all teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Much like a good ugly Christmas sweater, it probably wasn't evolution's intention to make it as ugly as it is. No. And that's exactly why we appreciate it. So in design, we call it biomimicry, which is when you reference nature to solve a problem through design. This looks like a binder clip come to life. 
<laughs> also, this is just so ugly. They really did them dirty here. Um, I'm stealing this right from Jada, but mouth like two ping pong paddles. Ma it, you, <laughs> that's fair. I hadn't thought about that. It does look like two ping pong paddles. Uh, I know why or why we think they evolved mouth like this. Do you have any idea, Em? Like, what kind of food resources might they be exploiting with a crazy ping pong face like this? Ping oh, I think if you go forward two slides. Oh, I have one more. Sorry, there we go. They're just vacuuming up their food. Just absolutely vacuuming up those leaves with 500 teeth. 500. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, M, one thing I, I learned, I don't think they actually ate tea. First of all, I can't tell if these are pancakes or waffles. We'll just leave it at that. Um, <laughs> I've learned recently, we think that they basically ate like a lawnmower. So that thing is just sweeping around on the ground, just like munching and munching and munching and munching, eating low-level uh, grass and plants. It is um, great. I had no idea it was 500 teeth in exact yeah. parallel rows. So you think about teeth on the sides of the mouth being parallel. The front, what? Um, actually, the scientists who described them compared them to both Darth Vader and a vacuum cleaner and described the tooth line as a conveyor belt made of sharpened piano keys. I like that. I like that. I mean, it's deserving of roasting, but a, a conveyor belt made of piano keys that are sharp is, is a great one. Um, and speaking of crazy weird, thank, first of all, Em, that was great. Thank you. Uh, I've learned more about that dino now than I ever knew before. Uh, but speaking of crazy weird teeth, we have to move on to my friend, Messiah Kasaurus, um, who clearly never went to see an orthodontist for braces or any type of headgear. I mean, we think, oh, by the way, they're pretty small. So you don't have to be too afraid of them. They lived in Madagascar. Well, at the time it was Madagascar. I mean, now it's Madagascar. It wasn't at the time. Uh, and we think they use those crazy weird buck teeth situations to grab maybe aquatic prey like fish swimming around or other small animals. We're not really sure. But as far as like buck teeth, most in need of braces and headgear, this dude absolutely takes the cake in my book. Uh, and that's why he's on our list of dinosaurs that absolutely needed to be roasted. Also, both this toy and this toy, I feel like we're probably made by the same person who had the same idea as us. Uh, these are magnificent, beautiful creatures produced by the evolutionary process. <laughs> or are they? Who even knows? Oh, and speaking of magnificent, beautiful creatures, uh, Megan, I believe you have a couple things to say about our next dinosaur. Yeah, yeah, maybe a few. Um, so, uh, oh. actually, I have one interjection a bit yeah. on the fact that you uh, referred to shampoo as a beauty product. And, yeah, it's true, but, like, that says a lot about you, though. That was your first well, thought of a beauty, beauty product. product. I, I'm pretty sure someone else said, did someone else say beauty product? Sharon, said, Sharon definitely said beauty said product. beauty product, so the phrase got stuck in my head. When I was doing this, I even Googled shampoo brands, all right? So I'm, I'm aware. You, uh, you got this idea on the toilet, and we all know it. Oh, really? You're going to start roasting me now? She who shows up this morning wearing the exact same outfit and same makeup because you fell asleep. Same outfit? I don't know. I don't remember what you're wearing, but you said you kept a whole gown. I was wearing a gown yesterday. Anyway, you, the Waldorf, the Stadler behind you, obviously perfect for roasting. You, you want to get into this? Tell yes, us about Pancake Because what is the deal with this dude? Man, I, my first question is why? <laughs> why does it look like that? Um, and it turns out they basically only have, uh, they only found like a few jaw pieces um, that, and, and, this is what they decided it looked like. Um, I mean, this one is actually better, I think, than the next one, even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are saving. Though, listen, if you go back to the first slide quick, oh, um, I think we might have seen uh, the, uh, this, this creature before. So I just want you to, we will get to that in a second, but I, I want you to take this in for a moment and see if it reminds you of anything. Uh, we can go to the next one, though. Um, it's name, by the way, it's name means strong jaw. I mean, okay. There probably were better roots that they could have used to come up with a, a, a nicer sounding name, though. I am very sure of that. Uh, you used this in your in Dino or Not a Dino last night, and um, it is a dino, but I don't know if it should have been. Um, <laughs> well, it's really old, too. It's about 195 million years old from South Africa, and yeah, we didn't find a lot of it. 
Uh, so there's still, there's still a lot to learn. Maybe when we learn more, it won't look, we'll think it looks a little less ugly. <laughs> yeah, it, it, uh, I saw a few uh, things that, uh, because they think it had those bristles or no, they had bristles like porcupines, which is a huge disservice to porcupines. Fair. Um, they can be very cute. Um, also, I, if you guys are familiar with Harry Potter, he looks exactly like Peter Pettigrew. And I don't think that's anything that anybody wants to look like. I'm sorry that I'm roasting an alive person, but I had to throw that out there. Um, and it's, it's the type of dinosaur that it is, is a heterodontosaur, which hetero means the same, which is boring. And I think that's one of the worst things you can be is boring. Um, and Jada is dancing now. I see that. <laughs> She's dancing for a uh, hating boringness. Um, the last photo that I have to share is that I think it actually was in the movie, The Princess Bride. I remember that. I think The Princess Bride, but they made it a lot bigger, right? Yeah, yeah, a little, yeah, probably, yeah, like three times the size. Yeah. yeah. But, so yeah, there's a great picture of a Pegomastax. Um, you know, people call pigeons rat w rats with wings, but I think this was just a rat with feathers and a beak. <laughs> but he probably could have used Zoom better than Dustin. Wow, 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 wow. Boom. I'm roasted. Boom. I'm on fire over here. All right. Thanks, Megan. Thanks for uh, telling us all about Pego Mastax. Its name means strong jaw. We are moving on now to our good friend, Jada. Jada, are you ready? Jada, I'm going to spotlight you for a hot second. Jada, Whoa. you made a last second decision to switch away from a not dinosaur to a dinosaur. I did. You know a lot of animals, even outside of dinosauria, uh, that are worthy of roasting. Yeah. So I, I'm just curious because maybe I want to look this up later. What is the not dino that you were going to roast? Lystrosaurus. Lystrosaurus. L Y S T R A Saurus. It was so ugly. But you're saying it's not a dino? <laughs> it's a, it's a therapsid. It is a, a mammal like reptile. So not a dinosaur. Okay. We'll look at that later. All right. So, but for today, you are going to roast our maybe the most heavily ornamented ceratopsian there is ladies and gentlemen cosmo why do they put lipstick on cosmo ceratops here why, why because it needs it that's why is that why okay so all right why'd you choose cosmo ceratops other than a very cool name actually because i saw it and i just was like are you okay sir like there's something wrong i don't know what happened but something went wrong here so this man has me shook in the worst possible way it is the gray sprinkle on the rainbow cupcake. It's just terrible, okay? So first, I don't know if the kids are gonna get this, but everyone knows this girl. This is the girl in high school that's trying to be unique and interesting, but like, it's not working, right? Way too hard. Exactly. Um, also, it's got Satan horns. Like, what's happening here? Are you, like, why? Why do you need this? Um, it looks like your annoying relative was like, got your nose and then gave you way too much nose back. And it's just like, look at that. It's a gigantic honk and schnoz, which is fine, I guess, but it's not cute. Um, <laughs> his head is so weird looking to distract from the rest of its body because the rest of it's so, as Megan would say, boring. <laughs> and like, I just wanna say looking weird is not a personality trait. Like, are you trying to be a tree or are you a triceratops whose head just gave up halfway through? Like, it looks like someone spilled hot noodles on your head and it just melted. <laughs> also, these guys live during the late Cretaceous, so I'm assuming the asteroid came just for these guys because we just need to get these off the planet. Wow. And wow. finally, they were found in, of all places, Utah. So again, as Megan would say, boring. Uh, as someone with an ex from Utah, uh, I'm not going to comment on this at all. So... I think uh, he just did. Science on Cosmo, too. Any last words on this uh, somewhat weird-looking dinosaur? Just do better, evolution. I think that whoever made this mock-up should try harder, too, because, like, blue with pink spots? What are we doing here? What, what, who, why? Come on. Right. This, this specifically is the girl in high school that's trying too hard. Right, right. Clearly, no one explained to her how, like, makeup would be, like, minimal and show you off, not cover your whole body like insane clown posse. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Thank you, Jada. Michael. Michael, are you ready? First of all, can we take a quick uh, look and a shout out to Mike's background here? 
This is the <laughs> Comedy Central Dinosaur Roast Zoom version. So, Michael, you sent this to me and asked, like, oh, can I roast this particular thing? Uh, and I think you asked because you weren't quite sure because it's not exactly a dinosaur. Uh, but who cares? This is our roast. We do what we want. And when I saw the picture, I was like, of course. So, Michael, before I bring it up on the screen, you want to say anything before we show the image? I'd like to thank all my uh, fellow co-hosts and roasters. Uh, you guys would be welcome to insomnia clinic. I'll tell you that much right now. <laughs> all right, here we go. Um, hey, again, in the Zoom room, you guys, we've seen this image before. And at this point, I know that I have to give you a trigger warning. Grace knows what's coming. Grace knows what is coming. Here we go. Michael, get it. What's up with Dale Russell's diet? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody has forgotten. This is Dale Russell's idea of what a true diamond would look like if it continued to evolve for the next 65 million years. I say Dale just went over to the land of the lost and stole sleeves back in costume. I'll tell you that much. Look, look at that face. It's the face only a mother could love if its mother was a frog. <laughs> I mean, this thing is so ugly. If it lived during the Cretaceous, T-Rexes will only hunt it at night. The, <laughs> The Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park would kick this guy's face, but not paralyze it, just so it wouldn't get sick before it ate. Like uh, I, I tell you, this this guy is so ugly, even Dustin wouldn't eat it. Wow. I mean, wow. Dustin is a guy with a crutch, a 66 million year old, nine ton, non binary murder bird, and that guy has standards. It's true. It's true. Uh, this is this is the guy. If he entered the door at Halloween, kids would give him candy. So I'm going to ask you then, Michael. Uh, if you had to choose, are you dating Exhibit A on the left or Exhibit B on the right? Well, you know what? Uh, exhibit B on the right looks like more of a hunter gatherer. It might uh, do a little bit more for you. While Exhibit A looks like he's on uh, some Hawaiian vacation. Is it, yeah, it looks like Santa. Is he wearing Santa out tie? I can't even tell. Looks like maybe he just stepped out of our uh, adults only Dino 101 from last night. So, uh, Grace, I know you love this image. Uh, what are your thoughts? If you're, are you dating A or B here, left or right? You know, I'm going to go with B because at least he looks like he could take care of getting like dinner and like hunting and gas. He looks like useful. Like he could go out and, and like get shit done. Um, but I am just so disturbed by these images and- And him being out of the house would be very useful, right? You wouldn't have to look at him. <laughs> so yeah, this is not an actual dinosaur, uh, like Michael mentioned. So this is a speculative evolution version of Truodon. So Truodon is one of, if not probably the smartest dinosaur. We talked about Truodon when we did uh, Brains and Intelligence, had a huge brain to body size ratio. Um, I think similar to modern dolphins actually. So really, really smart. And so this dude, Dale Russell was like, well, what if this thing continue to evolve and it wasn't killed by the meteor? Could it have evolved upright bipedalism in some sort of humanoid version? And here it is, and it is awful. And it haunts Grace's nightmares and many of ours as well. Uh, so thank you, Michael, for, I guess, our first, other than Sir Richard Owen, I, I don't know, <laughs> that should have been the poll I did. Who would you rather date, Sir Richard Owen or Dale Russell's dinosauroid, Truodon? Oh my God, definitely <laughs> Owen, come on. No, Truodon for the sure. Truodon. Truodon I'm for picking sure. the Truodon. Definitely Owen. Yeah, this Truodon is going to mansplain way less. I can just tell. <laughs> So speaking of that, I did make a poll. Let me just bring this up to the front here. Um, oh wait, we're not ready to launch that poll yet. But thank you, Michael. We're moving on from whatever the heck that thing is to Kelly. Is Kelly here? Yeah. Is she? I don't see her. Yeah, you got she's her? I'm just looking for her giant hair because usually there she is. Hi, Kelly. You make it. Kelly, uh, I like your, what are you wearing? What I'm wearing that? my robe because I just woke up. Nice, love it. So I Kelly- I don't make coffee, I'm on my first cup of coffee. Nice, I also love, oh, because you're in uh, Vermont, you got the Bernie mug. Uh, yeah. I love the big pile of bananas behind you. Shout out to Grace. Grace- Shout out to Grace. Grace loves bananas. Same All right, so Kelly, you texted me this morning and you're like, yo, I got a late entry, can we do this? And I was like, obviously we can do this. So Kelly, can you please tell us what the heck is going on with long, long Squama? 
Yeah, long, long, long squama, long squama. I don't even know how to say it. I just learned about it a few hours ago. So those are believed to be primitive feathers. And okay. this was initially going to be a roast of this dinosaur for how pointless those feathers are. Mm -hmm. But then as I was making coffee, I realized I want this to actually be a roast of all other dinosaurs, including the ones I see out the window right now, for having feathers that are so much less funny than that. It's fair. It's fair. Those are the best feathers I've ever seen, actually. Do <laughs> why they were used? Next I know time. nothing about this. I just think it's funny. Well, here you go. I've never seen that picture. Wow. <laughs> they look like um, those bugs that are maybe not technically called bugs. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's a technical <laughs> scientific term. Bug. <laughs> oh, bug. Uh, yeah. I think they were really small, though. I think I did see a picture last yeah. night. Of yeah. Yeah, this is really, so three centimeters. Yeah, this is like the size of a Nutrigrain bar, basically. Yeah. Like very small little dude. Yeah, so this is definitely a roast to all other dinosaurs for not being as cute and weird as this one. Do You just reverse roasted somehow. Yeah. I've, I've never heard of that. <laughs> this is really weird. This is, we should mention, this is a really, really early dinosaur. So this is in the Triassic. This is like 235 million years ago. So this is amongst the first things that, that we would actually classify as a dinosaur. We're not exactly sure what those long scales, which is what its name means, long scales, uh, were used for. I like this drawing because it gives one potential idea as this thing being a glider and a hopper, probably an insectivore. I'm not, I'm not sure. That would be my guess. I also like the middle two here when like when it does fly, those long front arms and legs are just like dangling <laughs> uselessly. <laughs> Kelly, any lost that? It looks like a lizard with wings now, now that I'm looking at those middle ones. Yeah. Uh, it's weird, though, because on this interpretation, there's just, like, the one, and then on both of these, it's all, you got, like, two sides for flying. Yeah. Very Which is totally very different. Like, this is obviously display. Well, maybe it would, this one would go this way, this one would go this way, and it would, you know, it looks like one, but oh, then. Oh, they. Yeah. Oh, all so it's Extra okay. advanced, extra efficient design. Look at that efficient design. Well, it just looks like, because this looks like way more of a display feature for mating or scaring away predators, whereas here, these are obviously way more functional. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Long Are they maybe unsure if they had one or two sets? I'm, I didn't do a lot of research on this guy. I'm not sure. The fossils are really cool because you can see very similar to these um, long scales. You can see the impression in the rock around the animal. So look up Longisquama. Longisquama? Am I saying that right? Longisquama? Don't know. Who knows? Uh, but thank look you. Look at this last image before you move on to the next one. You guys, you know what I'm going to notice on this one. Oh, boy. <laughs> look at it. It's all foldy. Oh, you got that foldy neck, neck meat. meat of the day. Oh, there look at them. Foldy yes. neck meat. That is a great segue. Thank you, Christina. We are going to segue because obviously when we were going to do a dinosaur roast, I, I didn't know what dinosaur specifically you were going to talk about, Christina, but I did know I had a hankering that there was going to be a fair amount of neck meat involved. Is, was that fair to say, safe to say? I guess I have a brand now. Yeah. <laughs> And you brought it to the masses, though. Everyone here loves neck meat. Uh, and because of that, you chose our good friend, Isosaurus. Uh, yeah. what's, what's the deal with Isosaurus, other than the fact uh, that I learned that, so I thought it was either named after the terrorist group or the uh, ancient Egyptian uh, goddess, but it's actually named after the Indian Statistical Institute. This is yeah. the Statistical Institute Saurus, and it's got great neck meat. Take it away. Absolutely. So you'd think that a majestic titanosaur uh, of this size might be named after something ripped from the headlines or maybe after the Egyptian goddess of life and magic. Mm -hmm. Neither of those things are true. It is uh, named after a university, the Indian Statistical Institute, I-S-I-Saurus. The Indian Statistical Institute lizard is what you're looking at and the dino of the day. Um, Such a name. Yeah, so that's more of a diss to the ISI people. They could have named it whatever they wanted, and they chose an acronym. Uh, it, so I think, oh, look at that. I think, you know, it is understood that bullies will pick on others for their own insecurities. And when I sat and reflected, that's why I chose Isosaurus. Um, <laughs> so... I have a younger brother, and as younger brothers do, they love to push buttons. 
And the insecurity he stored in my brain since I was a child was that my head was too small for my body. He never insulted my appearance in any other way other than making me think, is my head too small for my body? And I look at this dinosaur and I say, yeah, look at that foolish creature with a tiny, tiny noggin on top of a gigantic, thick neck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Grace so, loves <laughs> what's that? What's that, like, what's that thing on turkeys? Is that the same thing? Go- a gobble? Yeah. Is that the same thing? I wonder. I don't know. I think most neck meat in these dino, uh, in this paleo art has been speculative, right? Because that's not something that would be preserved. So maybe that's something that we're looking at modern birds for. We assume they'd have some sort of wobbly neck meat. I have not seen an Isosaurus skull, so I don't know if it like comes up on the top kind of like Brachiosaurus, uh, which would make sense for it to look like this, or if it's more flat, and that is, like you said, speculative gobble-gobbleness. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, if you would... Oh, God. <laughs> you God. So since I realized why I looked at this and thought it's ugly, I just want to take a step back and say, hey, tiny head dino. It doesn't matter if you're sort of disproportionate. You've got beautiful neck meat and a tiny little head sitting on top. And that's okay. That's enough neck meat to feed an entire army of hungry net meat sources. Wow. It's true. All right. That was, that was really good. And now that we have hit each of our esteemed co-hosts favorite to roast dinos, I have a poll I'm going to launch here. Uh, here we go. So of our Steam co-hosts that presented on their ugliest or derpiest or least favorite dinos, I'm curious to know, who do you think would make the best dinosaur? You can interpret that however you'd like. I'm not saying the ugliest or the prettiest. Just make the best dinosaur, whatever type, whatever species you want. Just curious who you guys think would make the best dinosaur. I'm trying well, to make some neck meat for you so you can visualize it. Okay, thank you, Christina. Christina, by the way, I've never once thought your head was disproportionate to your body. Never once thought that. You got Thomas Gustavich that. Only I can make the best what? answer because she wouldn't be boring. <laughs> Only I have you. many things. I may be annoying, but I'm not boring. True. <laughs> So we only have one, let's see, two votes for Grace, seven for Jada. Kelly, Megan, and M are all tied with three right now. Michael, you have six votes. Michael and Jada, <laughs> neck meet in neck meet for second place. Oh, it's tied now between Jada and Michael for second place. Christina's still in the lead. Can you guys see the poll in progress or no? Yeah. Okay, good. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have a few last votes coming. Only 35 people have voted. Come on, there's 57 participants. You guys not voting. This is democracy. It only works when you use it. Let's go. Michael jumps ahead of Jada. Oh. Uh-oh. Michael, another. Oh, Michael's <gasps> jumping up. May catch Christina. Let's go. Neck, and, neck meat and neck meat. <laughs> uh, we still got like 15 people still need to vote. This is a warm-up for the most important election of our lifetimes. You guys, let's go. Get those votes in. I would like to give a, a, a reason to vote for me. Think of the plumage. Think of, that's uh, that's the true. Plumage. That's true. I want to know what type of dino each of us would be if we were a dino. That's also true. I thought about that, but that was, would be a very complicated poll. Um, all right, we're going to give it about five more seconds. I guess, oh, it closed. With 43 votes out of 57, which is pretty good turnout. Christina, congratulations. We think you might make the best dinosaur. <laughs> Thank Let's, you so much. Jada and Michael. Wow. Second and third. Michael eked out Jada. Uh, <laughs> M, Megan and Grace all at three or four, and then Kelly at five. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. I like this. I'm so honored. I think, I think I'd want to be a, a sauropod for sure. Yeah, I mean, you got that neck meat. What are you going to do? I do. I got the neck meat. I'm already in the back of group photos. Eat a metric ton of plants every day. There you go. Yeah, and Lauren just said I should take that back to my brother. That's right, Tommy. Uh, congrats, so to Jada and Michael, for meddling. You guys made it on the metal stand. Michael with the silver, Jada with the bronze. Maybe train a little bit harder next time. Get those numbers up, and uh, maybe you can compete with Christina and her neck meet. All right, uh, it is twelve forty-four. Let's do a few questions and comments. I'm sure there may be some people um, in the Zoom who maybe disagree with some of our takes. 
maybe think some of those are beautiful or maybe have some dinos of their own they think that we should have roasted. Uh, Grace, Christina, what do we got? Yeah, I just want to go back to those first two, especially. Um, I thought they were so cute with which, their- which ones specifically? Th those first two with their little like buck teeth or like orthodontist issues. You know, as someone who had braces for six years, I totally appreciate some messed up teeth. And I thought they were so cute. This and one? also the one that you didn't roast, mm -hmm. uh, Megan, is also really cute. So. I don't know. I think there's something to be said for like, these are so ugly that I just want to like love them and, and take care of them. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, we love all of them. We roast out of love. They're dinosaurs. So clearly we love them. Uh, but obviously there's going to be differences in opinion. Different people are attracted to different features, both in animals and in people. No one's here to kink shame, but you do you, whatever, whatever you're into. Um, so Jada, the one that you talked about, I had some great um, comments about the fact that people thought they looked like really messed up bangs, like they got a really bad bang haircut situation going yeah, on. Yeah, I had a few people messaging me saying it looked like they had micro bangs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like like yeah. those girls who try to cut their own bangs and it turns out terribly. Yeah. Yeah. So like this is a lesson to everyone in quarantine. Please do not give yourself bangs because you will Don't look do it. I needed that today. Thank you. I was about to do it. Bangs. Kelly, you're crushing the bang game right now. Thanks. Yeah. I'm about to cut them myself though because they're careful. Wrong. So yeah, I'm, I'm taking this as a cautionary tale. See, but when you already have bangs, at least you have a reference point. But like people just with all their long hair, and then it ends up like right here. I'm like, what did you do? <laughs> but hey, now's the time. If you're gonna try a change, you know, you might as well do it now. Uh, That's Kelly, fair. Lauren from the chat has said that your hair would make an amazing feather display. Well, thank you. Of course. Yeah, All right, Grace. Great. Uh, any any other comments, Grace? Questions? No. I had no questions. I got a lot of comments. You guys, you know, there's just too many for me to go through, but people were loving the um, the burns going on. Good. A lot of people said that the one Kelly talked about, they looked like um, golf clubs, hockey sticks, yeah, so yeah. like other things. Yeah. Christina, what do you got? Uh, I similarly had people, I similarly had people weighing in uh, with their own interpretations of what uh, the dinos looked like. So yeah, Kelly's got a lot of attention as well. Uh, Yasmin said it, it's like the flying monkeys from Wizard of Oz. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, it was in the chat, but in case you missed it, Michael said <laughs> the runt of uh, Daenerys's dragon litter. Uh, a rake, a first airplane that failed. Bugs? No, that's a rake. So uh, we got we got some uh, dino fans with some hot takes of their own. I'm taking notes right now of this, by the way. <laughs> Can I make a comment? Please. Please. Dustin, I think yours looked like it would sound like Joe Exotic. Yeah. Let's, let's go to the map. Apple, apple. Uh, an apple? You think this guy would sound like Joe Exotic? <laughs> I think you were trying to do Joe Exotic a few minutes ago. I feel like go the one right above it, that one. No, that one. Yes, that one. Like look at its little, its mouth comes to such a tiny opening. I don't know. I think it would sound like Joe Exotic. Oh, hi. We have a little friend here. This is I'm gonna, a a I'm gonna highlight you, Dustin, so we can see what you're talking about instead of my face reacting to the little lips. Of that dino. There you go. Uh, Giddy. Oh wow, she's very chill right now. So both Maya and Max are bingo cards. I don't know if anyone has gotten a bingo or gotten close to a bingo. I'm doing this because there's cat hair flying around the air now. All right, do we have any last questions or comments from any of our steam co-hosts today before we get to the last bit in our drawings? I'm excited to see these drawings, obviously. Neck meat on display. Not not a question, but a comment. People are wondering if we could we did a great show on paleo art, like great paleo art. i um, wondering if we, like this is kind of making people think about horrible paleo art and terrifying paleo art um, and how much of these um, derpy looking images are just horrible interpretations by paleo artists. That is a great idea for an episode. We also, uh, someone had the idea of an episode just called Yo, I found this on the internet which is like weird dinosaur stuff. So that might be a good combination there, but I love the idea of maybe not roasting the dinosaurs themselves, but the actual paleo art interpretation. Great idea. 
Love that. If you do an episode on bad paleo art, you have to draw the dino of the day because you talk about how bad of an artist you are. I have never actually drawn. I'm trying to man the controls here, talk to people, but it's, I should. Maybe I'll have Christina, uh, you like do most of the, this stuff facilitating and I will be in the background drawing the worst animal you've ever seen. <laughs> You know, along the same lines, uh, everybody knows that the Twitter account that's called Cursed Dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kitschy dinosaurs the other day, we could go the exact opposite and do, like, the worst kitschy dinosaurs you've ever seen. Good call. Can you get the guy from Twitter on? I don't know. I'm going yeah. to I'm gonna, I'm gonna write that down. Curious dinos. Curious dinosaurs. Okay. Um, there's also a great uh, Insta handle called Awkward Dinosaurs. That one's good. Uh, all right. Can we see these awkwardly drawn dinosaurs? I'm pretty excited. Uh, so please. What did you just share to everyone in that chat? Is that a real thing? Uh, Megan Connell reminded me that this existed. I think you sent this to me the other day. It's a Brachiosaurus with possibly a trunk. Wow. I love and her. Everyone opens that and sees that incredible trunk. It looks she like it's on my desktop now. It looks like it's straight out of Star Wars. Wow. Um, all right, before we get into our drawings, I want to remind you guys we do this literally every single day. I guess now sometimes twice a day because we're insane. Uh, so if you want to support this endeavor, you can hit me up, Dustin-Groick uh, on Venmo, dgroick at gmail.com if you like PayPal. And to that end, let's look at these drawings. Hold up your amazing, well, maybe not so amazing, derpy dinos. Um, I'm gonna let my co-hosts that presented today comment upon these. I'll try to stay quiet unless it just moves me to speak. Here we go, Megan. I just wanna say that I managed to, oops, uh, make an ugly dinosaur even uglier because I screwed up my drawing scale a bit. But there's Christina, oh. very pleased with him anyway. Woohoo! Nice, nice. Yes, I would love to ride a sauropod to work. What a dream. Awesome, Megan. That's pretty great. How about Catherine all the way from Melbourne? Miss yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I love that, Catherine. So good. <laughs> That's true. That is cute. I love that we're doing just basically straight up neck meat day right now. Here we go, Jada. I also drew Christina because you have to. And they're roasting <laughs> each other. They're roasting each other. Yes. Oh, what a beautiful friendship. Also, I named this after my sister-in-law, and she yelled at me because we were just roasting this dinosaur. And she was like, why would you do that to me? So a couple things I've noticed. Uh, first of all, I love the legs and the arms. They look very skinny. And also, Christina, it appears that in the first time ever, your head is too big for your body. Wow. Too wow. Big. How the tables You're have turned. so very welcome. Turn. We're going to Martin. We're going to Martin. Ooh. Oh, I love it. Coming right at you. Person for scale. That is a thick neck. That actually looks like when you look at one of those really jack kangaroos straight on and they got all those musculature. That's good. I like that. He looks like he's offended at whatever the person is saying to him. <laughs> What'd you call me? <laughs> oh, Richard. Bruce. 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 I like that. It's Villain. Sorcerer. How do you feel about the stripes on the neck meat there, Christina? Oh, it's really good. It's accentuating the natural curves. It's like it's like natural makeup. It's enhance, enhancing the features. Nice. Beautiful. Ooh, it nice. is. Yours are always so fantastic. Iris is on the go. She's got some leaves to munch. Yeah. This one kind of looks like its neck meat is slowly consuming its head. Like the head is shrinking back into the neck meat. She's just a little, she's like a little stockier. You know? a little bit, a little bit. Wouldn't that be a great feature if you could just hide in your own neck meat? <laughs> That's what turtles don't want to do, be part Christina. of the conversation anymore. Yeah, necklace maybe. Age, great name. Great. Oh, so great time to do the chef's cage. kiss yeah. of dinosaur names. Yeah. Nicholas that, Cage. I refuse to do Nicholas Cage because I hate him, but this is a appropriate and, time to do And what is that? What? Oh, it's, it's a thick neck, boy. Yes, I so was thick. very inspired by the chicken waddle. Um, uh, so. You, you made the entire body a neck. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Also, shouts to your uh, T-Rex necklace. I see that. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> uh, Provinodon. Oh, I like the coloration here. We got some peach and some pink. Oh, I like the measurement for scale there. That's awesome. What is oh. this floating in the air above it? Is it a bow? <laughs> it's an air pod. I like that. Let's see. We got any more. Oh, we got a lot more. We got we to move through these. These look great. We got a whole gallery of neck oh. meat sources oh. over here. You know what? You need your glasses. 
I love it. That purple one is so great. Yep. These are looking good. How about Yasmin's here? Wow, there we go. Some striped zebra neck meat. <laughs> Izzy um, demands to know pancakes or waffles. Yeah, what do you, what I think Izzy is definitely a waffle woman, you know? Maybe. Hard, hard to know. I think she's a waffle woman. Jackie. Jackie. That neck bulb is nice. Yeah. Very nice. You like that? You like that little, it looks like uh, you're not happy about posing for a class picture. This is like school picture day right here. Yeah. Not, not about like it. Gulping. Mm. Oh yeah, I like that we've really focused on the necks today. Ooh, yummy, <laughs> yummy neck, <laughs> <laughs> yummy neck, meat neck. <laughs> That's great. Uh -oh. He's so happy. So happy. Wow, this is a lot of neck there. That's a spaghetti neck. Spaghetti Ooh. neck with meatballs. I love it. Oh, beautiful and flexible. We're gonna go to Lauren now. Lauren, ooh, I like that you're holding a dino. And look, that's a really good one. So good. Me, you's about to hit. Oh no. Ah. Ah. You have a hammerhead ah. shark on your shirt, and I just wanna say I appreciate that more than anything in the world right now. Very cool shark. Yes. Oh, no. Hammerhead shark shirts, very cool. Oh my uh, God. Oh boy. Wow, this might take the cake here. I love that people notice their, their weird little elbows. Yep. They're like backward arms. I love the uh, the little neural spike spines on the back, as well as maybe osteoderms, those little bumps, maybe. I like most of the neck meat here is concentrated on the top of the neck. You usually see it in the bottom of the neck. This one, uh, it's a little bit different. I like it. I like the interpretation. Yeah. Natty, per usual. There we go. Ooh, it's on fire because it's getting roasted. I'm <laughs> so happy. <laughs> Joyful, reaching for the top branch. Nothing but the best. Neck Neck boys. Mate boys. Yeah, with a Z. That's the best boy band name I've ever heard. Yeah, that is a really good boy band. The Neck Meat Boys. That is. That just sounds bad. Oh, 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 oh boy. Look at his little face. He's this short. might be my favorite. This might be my favorite. <laughs> it's like a chicken. Sauropod. It's like a chicken on a neck. Yes. Oh, I Yo, love him. This dude's neck ate another dude's neck. Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want uh, this is a good reminder. Please tag and upload these all to at of the daily dino. On oh, it. yeah, I'll, I'll put it in the chat. Uh, tag me as well because wow, this might be my favorite, Amy. Well done. Uh, Karasaurus, do you have one? You're outside. That's another great one. Tiny, tiny neck. This one's got some. Uh, okay. Oh, no. Ooh. Uh, oh. That's right. yep. The yep. image. Oh, cameo there. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, we got a last couple here. Haley. King of the neck meat. Ooh, I like the crown. That's good. King of the neck meat. Oh, he's got a little gobble. Or is it a crown king? And he's just even uglier. I don't know. Wow. Uh, Amy, I think this is great, but Amy, I think, takes a cake. I can't stop thinking about that. I love him. Um, that was absolutely beautiful. Um, thank you guys so much. That was amazing. Those were very good. I'm very excited about that. Um, Christina, or really any, Grace, all of my co-hosts, do you guys have any last words today? Anything nice you'd like to say to kind of flip the script on the roast? I'm just delighted uh, by all the neck meat. I'm so happy. Uh, I just, I'm beside myself. Well done, everybody. I said this on Twitter, but everyone's fascination with the phrase neck meat has been one of the weirdest and best things to come out of this. Uh, Grace, any last parting thoughts? Um, yeah, today was great. I learned a lot, as always. Um, I just want to once again say in defense, you know, some of these guys are just cute. And, you know, I think we do roast them out of love. But this was great. Yeah. And some of them will hurt. And I hope you never, ever, ever, ever have to see that image of that thing again. Ever. Oh, it'll be back. I know it. I never want to see that again. Sorry. Justin, you should make the, the what is it called? The Truidon, your background one day. Just, I feel like Grace will just leave immediately. Yeah. I just want to say that as of today, I think I'm a neck meat convert. We, we got her. We got I, didn't her. Admit, I think Amy's dinosaur, Amy's drawing really did it for me. Just pushed me over the neck meat edge. <laughs> also that one that said yummy meat, neck meat. 
between the two of those, like, I oh, mean, it's a whole new world. I don't know what's going to happen to me after today. It was totally con Very exciting. Exciting. Very exciting development. So thank you all for that. <laughs> well, I see now you're going to just relinquish your PhD in uh, theoretical physics and study only dinosaur neck meat. Yeah, neck meatology. Neck meatology. Oh, Eonologies as the neck meatologist. I think I'll be teaching that class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all, new we're generation. all teaching. It's a whole semester. We each have one day. We're going to teach all about net me. All right, you guys, thank you so much. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, thank you for joining us. After many of you joined us literally last night for our adults only one. Um, this has been awesome. Tomorrow, I'm not exactly sure. No, I'm making the decision right now. We're going to talk about the most famous, the most revered, the most iconic extinct non-dinos. So we're talking like woolly mammoth, mastodon, smilodon. If you have suggestions that you'd like to submit, it has to be an animal that is extinct, that is not a dinosaur, is not a bird. Feel free to email me, hit me up on any of the platforms. Uh, you know my name there. Email is simply dgroic at gmail.com. Yeah, so tomorrow we're going to count down some of our favorite extinct non-dino animals. Uh, I know we have some huge mastodon and mammoth fans here as well. So, and like megatherium for sure. Fun times, that is tomorrow. But for now, uh, I don't care if you're at CVS reaching in your cart to find the right shampoo or simply digging deep to find the right tool what did I write here? Oh, yeah, to cut those <laughs> tiny little girl bangs. <laughs> Never stop digging and definitely stop trying to cut your bangs. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy Saturday. Peace out. I love you guys. Thank you to all the co-hosts for helping us go through the derpiest, most roast-worthy dinosaurs <laughs> of all time. Peace. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Quack, 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 quack,